Ezekiel Cruz, aka Easy Kill, model and up and coming rapping artist. In just a bit, we'll go behind the scenes on the Easy Kill recording experience. Before we take a look, I want to talk about how you got here. So you're 21, when did all this start? Uh, it all started when I was four years old. Uh, just a normal day, uh, walked in the kitchen, get a snack, and I see my brother doing the moonwalk. Slippery as butter, it was so sick. Uh, I asked him how he did it, he showed me. After that, been obsessed with Michael Jackson ever since. Uh, started doing talent shows as a kid, winning them all, and just started doing my own music. But yeah, it was when I was four years old. Okay, so that was then, and it was Michael Jackson. Now, who influences your rap abilities today? Honestly, uh, I feel like my music kind of influences itself because every track I make is based off how tight my last one was. So I go off of, okay, I did it like this, now I gotta do something different, and now I have to top what I did before. So when I started writing my own music when I was 10 years old, at that time, Eminem was the influence. Uh, I was just crazy about that Marshall Mothers LP album. Uh, just kept listening to it every day. I could actually relate to him, you know, and his flow was just sick, and he was crazy, he was fucked up doing all these drugs and shit, and that's when he was at his best moments, you know, when he had the most pain and emotion in his life. Uh, but at that time, yeah, I was living there, right now, it's basically myself, I just go off my own field, I guess. So the next question I have is kind of similar. Everybody is talking nowadays how rap has pretty much lost its way. What is your take on that? I agree. Uh, there's. There's a lot of tight ass beats, there's a lot of okay hooks, and there's hardly any lyrics out there now. Uh, there's probably only a handful of rappers that I honestly listen to, uh, and even then, I can only listen to, you know, no more than five songs before I get tired of listening to them. Uh, they may sound arrogant, uh, but it's just, I believe that the art in hip hop has kind of drifted away. Uh, so right now I'm kind of listening to a lot of drum and bass and dubstep, and I, I mean I, I listen to Frank Sinatra, uh, you know, and my own music of course, uh, but not a lot of rap, just because of that reason. Nice. Yes, okay. So to kind of follow up on that question, everybody nowadays says that they know how to rap. What makes you so different? Why should it be on you? Uh, I, I I appreciate everybody that they. A lot of most most rappers will tell you that they're the best rapper, and that is I I agree I, I think that that's a good mindset to have, especially when you want to be the best, is to already believe that you are, so that everybody can be convinced, you know. But uh, people have kind of just been stuck on the same concepts, talking about the same club shit, talking about the same cars that they were talking about the NWA, talking about the same type of guns, you know what I'm saying? It's the same everything, everything's the same. Money, hoes, weed, that's about it. Club, drinks, I mean, there ain't nothing artistic about hip hop anymore. And I feel that my music is highly artistic. Uh, every concept that I drop is different. You'll never hear a song of mine that sounds like another one that I made. Every single one is different because it's in his own form. I agree. I, I think that uh, my rhythm by listening to Michael Jackson and listening to Eminem and listening to these really good musicians, I think that helped a lot as far as my rhythm and my flow, my voice and my singing. That, that, that I get my techniques and my voice from my singing that I did in the past like Frank Sinatra and stuff like that. So I got the lows from Frank and I got the highs from Mike. Uh, and I can sing. Uh, and yeah, that's why I think I'm better than a lot of these rappers. Because I have all these different levels of easy kill. Nice. You know what, that sounds actually very interesting because you don't hear other rappers say that they have that influence from different genres. It sounds like you have tapered out of rap and you go into like the drum and bass and then you know the artistic buddies and Frank Sinatra. So that's that's actually really amazing to hear. Something I want to ask you, and I might mix it up a little bit, but when I've heard your voice now, so something about check out your newest singles, Nanny Bob and Bound the Blow. But I know that you've been in the studio since those songs. So yeah. which of your pieces is your favorite? And I say pieces too because it really does seem like you're an artist and not just a rapper. Yeah. 
you know, I would say my favorite pieces would be my newest piece because when I make a piece, I wear myself out of it. I play it over and over again. I can't, I can't get it out of my head. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. It's always playing. I'm at work. It's going on. You know, people around me, my friends are singing it. You know, it's going off in their ringtones and stuff like that. I mean, I, so I play it out to myself before it's even out in the media, before it's even on the radio. I play it out. So then that makes me get tired of it. So then I have to write a new one. I have to make something tired because I'm already tired of what I made. So I gotta make something new. Yeah, so, yeah. Taking it back to the beginning of rap. There's another limit, every limit is another ticket to then get a visit then to be stuck with an image. I'm just that hungry. I can never throw up though, cause my flow is just too chunky. Am I starting to feel cross water drowning in my own acapella? If the devil was an angel of music, A Z kill the demon of But you're not currently signed to a record label, so do you ever feel like giving up? Giving up on music? Yeah. No, well. I put everything I got in my music. I mean, everything, every molecule of feeling that I got inside my body goes on my music, goes in there. If it so happens to where I'm 30 years old, broke, done made, a couple hundred tracks, got nowhere, I, would, I wouldn't even, Really need to live anymore. Real talk. There would be no reason for me. I started dancing at four years old. It's my fate. It was supposed to happen that way. I was supposed to see my brother that doesn't even perform, that doesn't even make music, do the moonwalk, to spark up a flare to get me to start being involved in music like how I am. So if it turns out at the end of the fucking road, I'm nowhere. Real talk. I am. So I always like to try to take a learning experience from everything, every interview that I have. So from hearing everything that you said today and for everybody listening, what advice do you have for aspiring artists? Don't focus on what everybody else is doing. Don't listen to the radio and think that that's a perfect fucking example of what the hell you're supposed to do. Don't look at the media and everything they're trying to show you how you're supposed to be and believe it. Follow your own road. Make your own path, you know? If shit gets in the way, move it, you know? And don't give up unless there's no other option. That's about it for our interview with Aziz Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule today. It's my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Easy kill.